Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to give a mid-year update on how our homeschool year is going. Um, I'm going to talk about what curriculum we're still using, um, which ones didn't work out, and what we are going to be doing um, the second okay. semester. We're going to start with um, what worked and what we're still going to be using in um, the second semester. Um, for those of you that are new to this channel, I'm currently homeschooling a third grader and a kindergartner. So I'm going to start with um, our third graders curriculum. This is first language lessons for a well-trained mind. Um, it is level one. Um, she enjoys it. They're short lessons. Um, and Okay, she seems to enjoy it. They are short lessons and um, we don't have any issues with it. And we will be continuing that um, um, when we start back in January. Um, she is also doing Singapore math. Um, we are um, not doing like the, the book that she writes in. Um, as you see, we just use a piece of paper and she does on the side. Um, it is going well, but I think when we come back um, after, January, after Christmas that we um, are going to focus on um, her memorizing the times tables because she seems to really struggle with that. So um, I think we're going to take a couple weeks off of the book, um, work on multiplication, and um, then we'll jump back into the book um, before school is done. Um, for science, um, both of my kids do this together. Um, we are doing um, Apologia, Land Animals of the Sixth Day. Uh, we are currently see here we are currently on just finished lesson 11 um, we have got three more lessons to go in this book um, I'm trying to do two weeks a lesson which will only give me about six weeks left so we're gonna have to find something else um, to finish out the year but they are really enjoying this um, I let's see here I like to add extra stuff in. So like um, for lesson 11, um, it is about amphibians. And um, what I like to do is read all the section on just on the turtles and then stop. And then um, the next day I will do a video like um, we've used Zaboomafu, um, Wild Crap Brothers, um, Magic School Bus. And then we've also just searched YouTube for certain things. Um, and we'll do that one day and then we'll go to the library and we'll get books on turtles and read that the next. And then we are completely through with the turtle section. Then we will move on and I'll read the crocodiles and alligator section. And then um, we will do that again. We'll read books on crocodiles and alligators. We'll watch videos on crocodiles and alligators and then go to the next. So um, in doing that, it takes me about two weeks to get through a lesson, which is fine. And um, I feel like they are getting a better grasp of it um, with adding the extras in. So um, we're really enjoying this and we will continue this um, into the new year. Um, for history, we are doing Early American History by Beautiful Feet. Um, this one is going really well, but um, we are already on lesson, I want to say like 87. We are on lesson... 85. We just finished this in 85 and there's only 110 lessons. So um, we're going to continue that into the new year, but I'm going to have to find something else um, to finish out our 180 days we have to have. So um, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to just read biographies on, on like notable people um, to finish out or what we're going to do, but uh, they really have enjoyed this. Um, I also want to talk about what did not work. I don't currently have um, those books with me because I sold them and because uh, they just weren't working. But uh, we started the year with my daughter doing um, all about reading, pre-reading, and it's basically just teaching them the alphabet. Um, she had a pretty firm grasp of that. She needed something that was more phonics. Um, the letter sounds and making them into words. So we did about 20 days of that and then just dropped it. And um, we are going to work on, I just picked this up where you haven't used it yet. Um, we will start it when we go back in January. Um, but hopefully it, it seems easy to follow. Hopefully I can follow it along and we'll get um, her started with some better phonics. Um, I've heard good and I've heard bad about this, but I didn't use it with my oldest. So this is a new experience. We'll see how it goes. But um, yes, this is what she is going to be doing instead of 
the all about reading. Um, another thing that we did not, uh, we started the year with um, our Bible program was Answers for Kids. It's an Answers in Genesis book. It was okay, but my kids just weren't getting it, and it was just very dry, I thought. So um, we stopped that, and we currently, um, through our church, we have a online streaming thing called Right Now Media. It is basically the Christian version of Netflix. Um, I'm not exactly sure if you can um, become a, uh, I don't know if it's a member or whatever. I don't know if you can um, sign up for it just as an individual or if it has to be through a church. Ours, um, our church signed up for it and then um, everybody in the church was able to get um, be a part of it. So I'm not sure how all that works, but that's what we have now. And it has all kinds of um, answers for kids in the Bible, videos, um, devotions for kids. And so that's what we're doing for Bible now. Um, so also um, for my third grader, she started out the year with, um, she started out the year with a calligraphy or not calligraphy. Oh my gosh. You'd think it was Monday. She started off the year with a um, cursive. There we go. Thank you. A cursive handwriting book. And um, she completely finished it. And she did really well. And I didn't feel like that was something that she needed to work a second book on. Um, because, I mean, she picked it up fairly well. So, um, starting in January, we're going to start back with word, Wordly Wise, um, a spelling and vocabulary program. Again, um, I have never used this program, so um, we're excited to see how it goes. But, I mean, it looks pretty straightforward. Um, from what I've looked at it, I think she will enjoy it. Um, and my kindergartner started the year. Excuse me. My kindergartner started the year with um, a numbers book. It was the uh, K-5 level from Abeka, and she completed that book and um, finished it about a week ago. So I picked this book up on Amazon. It is um, just a math K book. Um, I'll put the link below, but um, she's already started it because she just loves it. But um, it's just something to kind of get her through um, until we can really focus on the phonics program I got um, but we wanted to do this she does really well with her number skills I mean she knows it for the most part so this is just what she's going to finish out this coming year um, with for math so that is what um, we are going to be starting again in January and um, what has worked for us and what hasn't and um, we are 96 days into our 180 day school year and um, so far so good and we are ready for a Christmas break and hopefully be ready to jump back in come January.